What's up everybody? In today's video I am going to put my ultra wide back in my setup. I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to mount it on the, the monitor bracket arm that I had before that allows me to pull it out and rotate it to get it closer to my face. And that monitor in the middle is going to come out of the setup and just go into storage where the other one's coming from. <laughs> I'm doing this so I could possibly start editing on that monitor. I've been editing on my laptop normally in the living room or something just relaxed. I want to try to get in here and uh take advantage of the extra screen real estate from the ultra wide monitor. I think it could be really useful for editing video. So by doing that down here on the desk, putting the ultra wide in here and editing from the laptop, I'm gonna have to add an HDMI cable to it and run it up just where I can attach my laptop, hopefully off the side of the desk somewhere out of the way. I'm gonna have to have a keyboard and a mouse. Now I'm probably not gonna use the keyboard and mouse from my PC that's gonna be right in front of me just because it's gonna be a pain to be switching cables constantly. So I have another solution. So this right here is a Bluetooth keyboard This wireless. It could be charged via wire, but it, I think it has like a 60 day battery life or something. It's something like crazy. So this is the DK63 from D-Area. It bought off Amazon. I think it was around 40 bucks on sale like Black Friday. But I picked this up so I can uh, lay in my bed and be on the computer. So it's a Bluetooth keyboard that I can use pretty much anywhere. If I need one in the living room for something, I can use it. If, if I need it in the office for a backup keyboard or if I need to be you know, far away from my system and use a keyboard, I have it. It was cheap, picked it up. So it is a mechanical keyboard, so more like a gaming style keyboard. Um, it has mechanical switches, which I personally like. I'm used to typing on a laptop. But uh, if, I, if I type on a legit keyboard, I prefer it to have mechanical switches. I like the feel of it better. This is something I can Bluetooth to my laptop and have right here on the desk. In front of me, in front of my other keyboard setup for my PC. And it's small. It's not very long. I mean, it's 12 inches long probably. Compared to my other keyboard, it is completely like a quarter of the size. <laughs> then when I get done with the keyboard, I can just tuck it under the desk. Or put it in my closet or just do away with it. Get it out of my, get out of my way. I have to deal with any cables and that is genius <laughs> and then for the mouse sake I probably just plug in an extra mouse um, I may experiment with unplugging the one from my PC which right in front of me and sw switching it over but I highly doubt I'm gonna like that I'm probably gonna want to get a, a different one and just put it out beside the other one and use it temporarily I'd really like to have a wireless mouse that I could have two different functions or two different inputs use it on my PC and then just flip a switch and use it on my laptop, have it synced to both. I don't know how easy that would be to do. I know it's possible. Now that would be really cool. I do not own any wireless mice for gaming mice. I prefer them because they got extra switches, which is really useful for volume. And then syncing like different buttons to do certain things with applications, it is awesome. Like for Photoshop, it would be great. For uh, editing video, it would be great. You could have a button to, you say, go to your cut or go to your blade so you can cut a track or a video multiple things you can pretty much do anything any kind of application you can sync whatever function you want to a certain button I think that is awesome totally worth it to get a gaming mouse that can do that over a typical like Apple mouse or you know just a regular old uh, Logitech mouse that is sold from Walmart or you know blah 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 but that's enough tech talk for now I'll get one of those mice later on down the road not a big deal I love the ones I have and I don't need to upgrade that's just a cool uh, scenario or a cool idea, I think, that could work for a setup like this, whether it be mine or yours. So before I go and get the ultra wide out of storage and swap monitors, I'm gonna grab me a bite to eat because I am super hungry. I haven't ate all day. I had a cup of coffee this morning. So I'm gonna do that and we will jump into the conversion. Let's go. All right, buddy, you know the drill. You wanna go get something to eat with me? You go get in the car? Oh, you know what that means, don't you? You go get in the car? But you gonna go with me? Huh? Let's go. Come on. Good boy. So the plan for the monitor is to put the ultra wide in the middle 
back on this support system like a mount that I made so it's kind of floating now I'm going to take this monitor move it over and take this one out all right so we got this thing ready to mount got the little bracket on there to hook right up to the one that I actually left behind that monitor. It's just kind of tucked in the back. So all we gotta do is hold that up there and put the pin through it. Now we have to get those monitors situated and get that one off the desk. Now to deal with the fun part. Get under here and handle this mess of wires that's everywhere. This is my life. Okay, here comes the trickiest part of this whole change is holding that monitor up while I get this pin through it in the back side. It can be kind of aggravating, especially since I can't get behind the desk. But I'm just gonna scoot this keyboard stuff to the back and hope for the best. All right, got it on here right now. I'm gonna check my bolt tightness. Make sure that it's not, since it's in a bind, not falling. And Tighten this Allen screw up and we'll be ready to roll. Okay. Now we gotta plug this in over here. So now got one extra HDMI so I can plug my laptop into it. I'm just gonna run it out up under it possibly. Maybe right in the middle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think I'm really gonna like it for editing videos, so hopefully it'll be easy to just plug right up, get my laptop going into it, and uh, maybe throw a mouse to the side and edit there instead of on a small laptop screen with a little keyboard, you know how it is. That extra screen is really gonna help out, I think, in, uh, in really going through the editing software. Be able to have like a pretty good little view side and then have you know your transitions open at all times, that way you ain't gotta minimize them to get more space on your timeline, so gonna be awesome for editing video. All right, so I'm sat down here at the office. I've got everything in front of me I need to try this out. I got my laptop, I've got my HDMI cord close. I've got my little mini keyboard synced and ready. All I need to do is plug it up and switch the inputs. Let's do that. Gonna go down here to Final Cut Pro. Now look at all this space we have. Look at all the look how many clips I can see at one time. That is freaking awesome. Okay, now just to show you that the typing works on this small keyboard that I have right here. It's pretty cool. No wires. It's the best part. Okay, so that is what I got to work with now. Hopefully it'll treat me good and hopefully I will enjoy you editing that way on that bigger screen. Haven't figured out why my laptop won't let me shut the lid and display it on the screen at the same time without telling my computer to never go to sleep because I don't really understand why it's doing that. I know I've had it working that way before, but right now it's not wanting to cooperate. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research on that tonight and try to figure out why it's acting that way. I know I could put the power cord, I could plug into it, which is probably going to happen anyway when I edit, but on battery life, it's not wanting to let me do that. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I got this uh, set up the way I want it now. It's gonna be awesome for editing video and just really just content creation because it's so much screen to use. It is literally the best thing probably for a creator is to have all that space to, to use, especially on that editing application. You need a lot of, you need a lot of space to, to be able to see everything because if not, you gotta constantly be maximizing and minimizing little parts that you need for every little section of a video. So that would be really helpful in my opinion. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you haven't, consider subscribing and I will see y'all in the next video. Later guys.